It's the day of Brazil's crucial quarterfinal against Colombia. It's also the day that I've arrived in Salvador. Salvador was the first capital of Brazil. It was an African slave port, but today the people are known as the happiest people in Brazil. What is the quality of service that you are going to receive at the World Cup? I say Salvador is amazing because look at the quality of service I'm getting. I had a bit of a problem, yes, but could I solve it? Yes, why? Because the quality of so service in Salvador is top class. People will do things for other people, unlike in Brasilia, people don't do things for other people. Whoa, whoa. This man has pulled me about 100 kilometers, but he's still smiling. He's still smiling. That's why I, I already love Salvador. First stop is Bonfim's church. Every January, over a million people travel here in a procession called Lava Gem for a spiritual cleansing. It's here that the people tie a lucky ribbon to the fence and make a wish. So I'm going to tie my own ribbon to the fence and make my own wish. That means that from now on I'm going to be extremely lucky. I know that you probably find it difficult because you see me and you go like, man, that's a lucky guy, but the luck is going to increase. You've given me so much luck so far, and hopefully it will continue, because that lady said that it would. Que eu chamo Deus do amor, o seu caminho está traçado um grande amor em sua vida. Claro, e what has fortune telling got to do with the World Cup? Well, if certain teams had come to a fortune teller before they had come to the World Cup, they wouldn't have wasted all that money coming here. For example, Ghana, Cameroon, Ivory Coast. Do you emotionally? bankrupted a whole continent because for once we actually thought that you guys were going to go through to the next round. Larry Kobalishu, who we? I love ya, I love ya. Says I'm going to find love. Love in Brazil. Love. The fortune teller told me things that I already knew. I'm gonna be really wealthy, have a good time. But then he also said that I'd find love, which I didn't know I'd find in Brazil. Cleansing ceremony, people. Cleansing ceremony, it's always good to cleanse. When I was looking for the cleansing ceremony, I was looking more for a massage, you know, that kind of vibe. But it's different here in Bahia. They give you cleansing ceremonies with throwing uh, chicken seed and feed on you, which is good. I enjoyed it. A leaf for protection. Obviously not for actual protection, like if someone shot me, I would die. But it's for spiritual protection protect my soul so I'll put it in my pocket at some point and then my soul will be protected from evil obrigado thank you